Classic country. Classic Country is KSLI 1280. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. Now back to the court with Matt McGraw on 1280 AM KSLI. And uh, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday to you. It is indeed time for some Wiley Lady Bulldog volleyball as we are here on the last day of August. Finish out August and, of course, the big day here. We're coming to you live from Wiley High School. So Wiley playing a home volleyball match in front of their foot first home football match. And uh, our company bringing you these games, the all these Wiley broadcasts. Of course, you're listening to us uh, multiple options. You've got, of course, Town Square Media, the radio station we're on right now. That's 1280 Classic Country, KSLI. And so grateful to Town Square for opening up their stations to Wiley Athletics. This is your home for Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, your radio home. The Bulldogs football team will be up later tonight, 7.30 kickoff, and that'll be over on the FM dial over on Team 105, 105.1. So, uh, but again, both of these are home games. You gotta love that. I heard there's even some tailgating going on right now, kind of out front in Bulldog Stadium. People getting ready to uh, descend upon the stadium. Maybe a big turnout later on for that Bulldog football game, and maybe they're cooking out right now and got us going because we're also coming through, uh, coming on through your phones. You can listen to this game through your phones. Of course, lots of streaming options. Our company Bulldog Live Online. And the website where we're streaming the audio, BulldogLiveOnline.com. And, of course, the big announcement, although not quite available yet to download, but the big announcement was made this past Tuesday for our company, for the company that brings you Wiley Bulldog and Lady Bulldog Athletics. And that, of course, is an app for your phone and your tablet and other mobile devices. We know that's where everything's going, that uh, everyone wants to be able to just tap an app and maybe another tap for a game and the audio starts coming through on your phone and we will have that and it's already in production kind of almost ready to just a couple of steps left as far as maybe some some a little business with apple apple taking a, just a little bit of look at this but the bulldogs live online app so excited to and it, i've already seen kind of the beta the beta of it and it looks sleek and it's so user friendly and the very first thing that you can tap on the app is the listen live key if you will that we of course if we've been doing this for six years on uh, on computers and using other apps when you have an app that bring you brings you the radio station itself 1280 a.m but so excited to again be uh, bringing you here in just a hopefully maybe a week or two uh, from now the bulldog live online app uh, just another great listening option for you, the Wiley Bulldog fan. Wiley Volleyball here, and they're going to play a tough, very tough opponent. Midland High is in town tonight here at Bulldog Gym. They're the Bulldogs as well, the Midland High Bulldogs and Lady Bulldogs. And this is a look here at their roster. Midland High, of course, a 6A school. Kind of used to play in the uh, in the little Southwest Conference that Abilene High was a part of, even Abilene Cooper. But they're still remnants a few surviving schools of that old district, but Midland High, of course, with Midland Lee and Odessa Permian and Odessa High. But uh, they're here in town tonight, and they're 17 and 9 on the season, and they had a third place finish in a tournament this past weekend at Midland High. And so it's uh, just another tough team that Wiley has put on their schedule. They always seem at least this is now like uh, probably five years in a row that in non-district, Wiley and Midland High are hooking up here in volleyball. Kind of just uh, every year, you just it, it, since we're here in Abilene, it was because last year, Wiley volleyball was at Midland High. 
And so that is what we have on tap for you. A lot of seniors on the Midland High team and only one senior on Wiley's team. That's kind of a theme. There's a lot of youth on this team, but it's a, it's a team that I think come district men, I think they're going to fall out, and they know. They know they have to play well, especially when district gets there. A lot of tough schools in that district. Cooper Cougars, the Lady Cougar volleyball team, is an extremely tough opponent. And, of course, Alito. Alito, no joke in volleyball. They are ranked number 10, in fact, in the state in Class 5A as Wiley begins or is getting ready to begin their first ever venture in a 5A district. Of course, they're already starting play as a 5A school. But all this, all these tough teams and Wiley coming off a win earlier this week. On Tuesday, a big win in four sets over Brock as they beat the number three ranked team in 3A. Brock now a couple of classifications below Wiley, but always tough. And Wiley played very well against Brock on Tuesday. And so they're hoping to carry that one into this one. But uh, tell you what, this Midland High team player to watch, certainly a senior Haley Bronco. And again, we don't know really the, any of their players, but I want to just, you'll probably be hearing her name a lot. Number 12, an outside hitter, Haley Bronco. But Wiley, their team is uh, a little bit shorthanded as far as uh, there's a couple of injuries. A couple of girls are injured, but they're, the ones that are playing are finding ways to build chemistry because, as I said, it is a lot of young players. There are two freshmen, two freshmen on this team, also a couple of sophomores, and then one senior, as I said, and then a handful of juniors. So it's a, a team, though, that some of these juniors have been playing on the varsity for several years, and you're going to hear, of course, one of Wiley's leading hitters tonight, number four, Karis Christian. Karis Christian, a junior outside hitter, and another junior, number 12, Madison Burden, will hope to lead the attack been very impressed with a couple of young setters that are going to try to make the Wiley offense move and get a lot of assists tonight. The setters that I'm talking about, the young ones, number 11, a freshman, Lexi Miller, is one of Wiley's setters. Also number seven, Riley Hayes, and she is a sophomore. Hayes and Miller are the two setters for Wiley, and oftentimes Wiley's attack is more of a, a one setter at a time, surrounded by several hitters and defenders. Uh, sometimes in volleyball, you will see two capable setters on the court at the same time, but usually Wiley head coach Shea Cox, Coach Cox will uh, love to have a one setter, one really good setter sub in for another. And so usually Miller and Hayes not playing on the court at the same time, but good to know. That they uh, And they're so young that they're already looking like very, very capable setters. I've liked what I've seen out of both Miller and Hayes. And then, of course, defense. Wiley has some good defense on the back row, led by number one, a junior libero, Pearson Sanders. Also some good defense from, you've got Ginger Landman. She, she is really good. That's the one Wiley senior. She can also attack. Seen some kills out of her, but been very impressed by her defense and back row play the senior number 14 ginger landman so we're getting ready for midland high and wiley wiley comes in with a winning record as i said off a win over brock they are 14 and 10 this season the 2018 year 14 wins 10 losses and getting ready for midland high as they roll in 17 and 9 so a good volleyball match on tap for you as we are excited to be here at Bulldog Gym, the fifth section filing in here for this early 5 o'clock start. They like to start a little bit earlier on Fridays during football season to hopefully get the match finished even before kickoff, and that is the plan. Let's go ahead and take a break here as they're going to have the national anthem and some of the introductions of the roster, but we're just a few minutes away from first served as we are here at the top of the hour. Thank you to Wiley Volleyball's presenting sponsor. That would be Dr. Pepper. And we'll be back after this timeout here on 1280 KSLI. Hey there. Hey there. My son's going to help me. My son's going to help me. Yep, it's the copy game. Copy game. I could say anything right now, and he'd repeat he'd it. repeat like, it. I just love Brussels it's sprouts. Like I just love... Hey. I'm careful what I say around him. I also try to make sure I pass on good energy-saving habits. You should, too. Save energy and money at TogetherWeSave.com. TogetherWeSave.com. You know, my dad is the coolest. My dad thinks he's funny. A message from your hometown co-op. It's Taylor Electric Cooperative in Merkel. 
If this is your idea of going to the dentist, it's time for you to make a change. At Borland Family Dentistry, we'll make your smile beautiful and healthy with a simple checkup. Or by using one of the most advanced cosmetic procedures. Let's make your smile something to smile about. Borland Family Dentistry. Two great dentists, one awesome team. Borland Family Dentistry. You'll love your smile again. Now, same day appointments. 695-3300. Dr. Pepper presents recording artists Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. When you're growing up, the world tells you to be just like everyone else. But how boring would that be? When I started writing music, I found the best songs I ever wrote or when I was being completely honest. That's why Ryan and I decided to stay independent. We turned down major label deals because we wanted every single thing that had our name on it to be authentically us. The world needs more one-of-a-kind people. Dr. Pepper, always one-of-a-kind. Yeah, I, is it sprained? I, is it strained? Is it fractured? Should I use ice or should I use heat? Wow, do we need a surgeon? Abilene Bone and Joint and Action Sports Medicine has your answer to your questions. Saturday mornings beginning August 8th through football season come for free sports evaluations from 9 until 11 a.m. There's an x-ray and open MRI on site which will speed your diagnosis. Action helps you get back in the action. 1633 Cottonwood, call them at 676-5633. Action, excellence in sports medicine and physical therapy. Hi, this is Trace Michaels, and I can tell you from experience that my child loved going to the dentist. What? My child loved going to the dentist, and the reason why is because he goes to Abilene Pediatric Dental Associates. They are the most trained and equipped people to provide dental care to all children. Abilene Pediatric Dental Associates is the home of Abilene's only board-certified pediatric dentist. If your child doesn't like to go to the dentist, give them a try. Abilene Pediatric Dental Associates. To get on board, call 325-437-437. Five two eight four. Now back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on twelve eighty AM KSLI. And we're back here. They're finishing up some of the introductions of Midland High, so we're going to be able to listen in live to the Wiley Bulldog PA here at Bulldog Gym. Introduce the Wiley volleyball team to you. And they are coming in off a good, impressive win over Brock. They won that game in four sets. Brock was ranked at the time in the state in 3A. They were ranked number three in the state. Wiley out here wearing the home white uniform so, and their long sleeve. It's a really good look. Long sleeve white unis with a purple number on the front. Wiley on the back and the number on the back. That's purple. We're going to listen in to the Wiley PA. And the cheers were the loudest for the one senior on the team, as it should be, number 14, Ginger Landman. Again, the Wiley PA system. They're pretty good. Uh, if it was a little uh, little convoluted, that even could be on our part, but we wanted to try to bring you that action as, as you could experience the Wiley roster getting introduced. It was the entire roster. Uh, one of the injured players is back and active tonight. And that is number 15, Maggie Allen. So Allen is ready to play. She was wearing her jersey, but still the injury to number nine, Keaton Davis. Davis is still out with a hand injury, but she is not out for the season. She hopes to be back by district. Here's the Wiley volleyball team ready. Ready. <laughs> 
ready for the dance party right there. That was the entire players on the court. As you heard them yelling there in the background, they break the huddle in the white long sleeve jerseys and the six on the floor for the Lady Dogs. You have the senior, number 14, Ginger Landman. Also number four, Karis Christian. Number 12, Madison Burden. I also see number 11, Lexi Miller. Number five, that's a freshman, Lily Kate Doby. Doby, number five, and the libero. And she's got a black long sleeve jersey with the rest of her uh, teammates in the white long sleeve jersey, but the libero always wearing the different color jersey. That's number one, Pearson Sanders. So Sanders, Miller, Doby, Burden, Landman, and Christian to start this match for your Lady Bulldogs against Midland High. They're also wearing their white. You sometimes have the road darts, but so be it. It's, you're on separate sides of the net, so that's okay, but both teams wearing the white tonight I wonder and now the official is talking about it I don't think it's about the uniforms of Midland High I think she was just letting in the libero for Midland High who's also wearing a black long sleeve jersey so both teams wearing uh, looking very similar in the white but we're ready our broadcast presented by Dr. Pepper and it's time for the Dr. Pepper first serve. It's Midland High to serve. Wiley receives. Sanders. A pass to Miller. A set for Christian. And a big spike. But it's dug out by Midland High. But they can only put it back on Wiley's side. The opening point still going third. It's the block. And blocked for a point for Midland High. So our game is underway. The opening set. We're going to go to 25. Got to win by two, and the best three out of five sets. The first of three sets, and here's Christian for Wiley on a kill attempt, but it goes too long. It's out. The spike is out. Point Midland High. They're up quickly two nothing here. Wiley is on my right in game number one, so their attack goes right to left. Lexi Miller on a set. Landman with a spike, and Wiley is off the board. A kill from Ginger Landman. Our company bringing you this game, Bulldogs, live online, and we support Wiley students with a scholarship fund, the Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund. Every kill a donation to that fund from Orland Family Dentistry. Midland High tried to spike, but Wiley's B was there. But then another block at the net for Midland High and a block for a point. Karis Christian spike was blocked. Number 24 got in on that. That was Olivia Hale for Midland High. Also looks like number 21, Madeline Kennedy. They do have some height on this Midland High team. Although the height is not listed, but their girls do look taller than the Wiley girls. Wiley received serve. Goes to Landman with a spike that is dug out. We're early in the first set. Now a kill attempt by Midland High, but there's good D by Lily New. And then Karis Christian, but the spike is out. It's out at a point Midland High. And they've scored four of the first five today. It's four to one Midland High. And Karis Christian receives the serve. Gets it to Miller. There's a set for Landman. She tries a one-hand tip. Midland High C is scrambling. Third touch keeps it alive. It's on Wiley's side. Karis Christian, a one-hand tip shot. But again, Midland High's libero. That was Andrew. Got to it and then a set for a big hitter. And the spike fell. That was from number 12. That is Bronco. Certainly a player to watch and a player Wiley needs to contain. She can rack up the kills. For Midland High, number 12, Haley Bronco, the first time we've heard from her. Wiley sets up Karis Christian. And there's the libero Anders for Midland High, another good team. Wiley has it again, though. Miller, two-hand tip. Anders is there. Now it gets a spike from Bronco. It's in for Wiley block, but down for a point, Midland High. And they are up 6-1. It's a tough matchup for the Lady Dogs of Wiley against the Midland High Lady Bulldogs. Here's Wiley set up for Lily Kate Doby, and she'll put Wiley a second point on the board. A kill falls 
for Lily Kate Doby and Wiley down 6-2 early in the opening set. Wiley's Ginger Landman sets up with a serve, right to left, good one. Midland High had to dive just to touch it. They do put it over, though. Wiley scrambles, third touches, Landman. It's just a volley, but it's over the net. Midland High, twice. That was pale, but Wiley has B on it. However, a whistle is blowing and a point Midland High off Wiley violation. A Wiley player touches the net. Not sure who they got, but the net was moving. And it's a point Midland High on the net violation. And Midland High is up on Wiley here by five in the opening set. It's 7-2. Recky in the game for Wiley. She takes the spike, but it's too long. Wiley's hitters here early have not been accurate. It's a point Midland High. 8-2 is the score. First touch is Lily New, set from, that was Hayes, for a spike from Lily Kate Doby, but Doby spike is out. And Wiley got a call time. Timeout called by Wiley head coach Shea Cox. Her team is down 9-2 early, and we'll take a break. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. We're powered by Taylor Electric Co-op, and we're on BulldogLiveOnline.com. First Financial opened for business in 1890, so this marks our 125th year serving the people of Texas. Through that time and an ever-changing financial landscape, we've continued to thrive. How? Our customers. We wouldn't be here without you. So thank you for coming to us to help grow your business. Buy a house, save for college, plan for retirement. Thanks to you, after 125 years, we're just getting started. First Financial. You first. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. You are listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. Out of a timeout called by Wiley. It'll be a Midland High serve, and Wiley touches it as Brecky, and a pass over to Hayes, a set for... That was Christian, and Wiley gets the point out of their timeout, a kill for Karis Christian. The assist, and I set for Riley. Hey, Riley went one, two, three on that one. Bump, set, spike. This is Morris in the game for Riley. Takes the serve. That's number three, Morgan Morris. There's a spike, Midland High, down the line. It's out, though. And a point, Riley. That was from Kennedy that is out. And Riley, a couple of points out of their timeout. And Morgan Morris with another serve. Here's Kennedy at the spike. That is out. And it's a point, Wiley. And it was 9-2 when Wiley called the timeout, but now it's 9-5. Wait. Oh. It's not. The official on the podium rules that... A Wiley player touched it at the net, not touched the net, but touched the volleyball. And the spike that went out was thus touched by the Lady Dog. That's a swing point right there. And the Midland High serves. Wiley sets up. That's for Kimberly, and Wiley gets that one. Converting on the serve receipt, but what was 9-5 actually got changed to 10-4. That's what kind of swing it was. And then Wiley just got the kill there from Wimberly. So it's 10-5. Wiley down. But now an eight for the Wiley Lady Bulldogs. I oftentimes like to just say Lady Dogs, but I'm reminded tonight that both teams are the Lady Dogs. That eight was from Sanders. And then she serves again this time. And that's a little bit too long. It's out. So after a flurry of points, it's Wiley down five in the opening set. Game number one, Midland High 11, Wiley six. Sanders, first touch on the serve receive. Hayes a set. That's a tip shot. Short one from Wimberly. Midland High scrambles to it, but Wiley has it again. Now Hayes tries a deep two-hand tip to the back row. Midland High gets to it. They'll try a spike, but that goes into the net. That was from pretty much their best hitter, Bronco. Haley Bronco, but Wiley gets the point and trails 11 to 7. 
And taking the serve is freshman number 11, Lexi Miller. Wiley ready to serve it. Here it is right to left. It's in play. Midland High setting up here for Kennedy. Spike is way too long. That's out, and Wiley gets a point. So Wiley is getting back in this opening game, what did not look good at all on the start, which was 9-2. Wiley now only trails by three. Here's Midland High setting up that Bronco. And she'll put it down. So Midland High that time receives the Wiley serve, goes 1-2-3 on the execution, and Wiley down four at 12-8. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. We are presented by Dr. Pepper. And the first touch on the server receives Morris. And then a set from Hayes. Excuse me, Miller. And it got to Burden. But wait a minute. And then I was going to say she got blocked. But the official saying there was a net violation on Midland High. So, again, another swing point. This time it does go Wiley's way. Because Burden got stuffed at the net and it fell on Wiley's side. Thought it was going to be 13 8, but they call Midland High for touching the net, so it's 12 9. Wiley serves again. Now Bronco. And she'll drop a true bomb, Haley Bronco. And that's a point, Midland High. And so it's 13 9. Wiley down. Trying to stay within striking distance in game one. Sanders gets it to Miller, and she sets up Burden with a one-hand tip. But Midland High does dig it out. They'll try to fight, and the spike ball on the back line. Came from number 21, Madeline Kennedy. was just barely in, but it is on Wiley's back line for a Midland High kill. Wiley setting up off the server seat for Christian. But her spike is dug out by Midland High's libero Anders. And back on Wiley's side on the right. Landman takes the one-hand spike towards the back line. Midland High, they dig it out again. It's here for Wiley. The volleyball set up for Christian. And again, Midland High is getting to it. But they can only volley it over. Wiley again tries to set the attack up. A set from Miller. A one-hand tip. That was Burton. But a good dig by Midland High. And then they'll score. Eventually, the long rally ends. There's been a couple diving stops by the Midland High libero. She's wearing a black shirt. That is Anders. Jimmy Anders. Wiley down six now. And Wiley blocked. It was Paris Christian. Spike getting blocked by Sydney Crawford. The first time we called her name, number 14 for Midland High. Wiley now down seven. In game number one, it's 16 to nine. Wiley looking for a point. This is Miller setting up for a one-hand tip for Karis Christian. Midland High has a couple of touches. They'll put it over. Wiley, though, now they had to dive to get one. Ball still live. Wiley could only volley. Midland High spikes it. And scores it. Number 14, Crawford again. Midland High has scored five in a row, and Wiley forced to call another timeout. The uh, second of their two timeouts you're allowed per set. Wiley does call it, so we'll take another break. Wiley down 17-9 here in the opening set. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, presented by Dr. Pepper on 1280 KSLI. Bob Catababoli, the power behind your work. Over 30 years in sales, rental, parts, and service. If you have a job to do, we have the right tool rental. If you have questions, we have your solution. Visit Bob Catababoli today at 2257 South Treadaway. Active military, law enforcement, and first responders receive 10% off all equipment rentals. Bob Catababoli, over 30 years in sales, rental, parts, and service. Bob Catababoli, the power behind your work. Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And we are back here at Wiley on the campus of Wiley High School. And Wiley has called a couple of timeouts here in the opening set because things not going their way. 
the serve, and we're back to live action. Wiley touches it. It's Christian getting it to Miller. A good spike there, but it's still dug out. It came from Burden. Back on Wiley's side on the right. They're setting up Terrace Christian. One-hand tip. There's a diving dig from Bronco. Now it's back on with a one-hand tip again from Christian. Again, Midland High has the knee, but Wiley again tries with a spike from Christian. The Midland High, they're there. And they eventually score. There's not much Wiley can do right now. There's just too much momentum for Midland High. They're getting to every attempted kill by the Wiley hitters. Midland High will serve again. There are eight seniors, eight seniors on Midland High's team. One senior for Wiley, but again, that's Never going to change. Wiley will play with one senior all season long. This is a spike into a Wiley block by Midland High's Crawford, but it's down point Midland High. And Midland High scored seven in a row. At one point, it was 12-9. Wiley thought it was getting back in it at 12-9, but now it's 19-9. Here's Wiley setting up Paris Christian. That time, Wiley gets it done. Spike and kill. For number four, Harris Christian. So make it 19-10 here in game one. But Wiley needs to go on a run here in this opening set because they're running out of time. A good serve, though, by Burden. It went high. They were a bit off, but they keep it alive. Give it to Wiley on the right. And Christian, she was blocked. And blocked for a point, Midland High. Midland High leads game number one, 20-10. And they'll serve here to Wiley. First touch is Karis Christian and a set from Miller and a spike from Doby. But there's Midland High digging it out on the back row. And then they'll get a kill to fall. That came from Bronco again. So Midland High turning defense into offense. Everything going their way in the opening set. Wiley will hope to make some adjustments. But I knew that it was a really talented team coming in tonight. Out of Midland High, it's coming in. It almost always is. But this team is probably even a little bit better than their normal good team. They just scored again 22 to 10. Midland High looking to close down here game number one. Here's Wiley setting up for Doby, and she attacks the block and gets paid off. So there's some tall girls on Midland High's team, but Doby, number five, that time spiking it into the hands of a double block and then down through for a Wiley point. Midland High up 22 to 11. And Wiley was serving, Landman served it into the net, point Midland High. And they're just a couple points away from going up one nothing in the match. But again, just some adjustments need to be made. Volleyball game of momentum. Wiley just will shake it off and get ready for game number two. This is Christian. She'll try to carry some momentum right there with a nice kill. Make it 23-12. But again, we're just going to 25. Wiley will serve here. It's going to be Morgan Morris. Morris checks back into the game. Midland High, that was a set from Kidwell. A spike from, that was Olivia Hale. But that one is out. And Wiley gets a point. Midland High 23, Wiley 13 in the opening set. Right to left service by Midland High. But it's just out. Just out by Morris. So a point Midland High on the service error. And Midland High has themselves a game point or a set point here. 24-13, so a Dr. Pepper game point. But not for Wiley. Wiley going to try a two-hand tip from Andrea Brecky, but it's dug out. Now Midland High attacks. Kennedy, a spike, and it's down. And Midland High looked very impressive in game number one. They just won it. The opening set goes to Midland High. Midland High wins it 25 to 13. They'll take a 1 0 lead in the match, but Wiley will again try to adjust as the teams will switch sides of the net and get ready for the second set. We'll take some breaks and come back for game number two here as Midland High goes up 1 0 
in the match. You're listening to Wiley Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on Bulldogs Live Online.com. You'll feel the difference when you have your AC unit serviced by ACS Heating and Air. ACS Heating and Air is family owned and operated. ACS provides service, preventative maintenance, and system replacement for commercial and residential. ACS Heating and Air also provides free estimates. ACS Heating and Air hope very much to earn your business, but their mission? To earn your trust. And don't forget to ask about the Comfort Care Program. Call 325 690 0998. At AIM Bank, we know your time matters. That's why we offer hometown service paired with big bank convenience. I'm Gary Galbraith, market president for Abilene. At AIM Bank, you'll get quick loan decisions and convenient tools like our mobile banking app. When you open an account with us, you'll get free access to time-saving solutions, including mobile check deposit and over 600 ATMs right here in Texas. AIM Bank, hometown service, big bank convenience. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Hey, Wiley Bulldog fans, if you want to keep up with school news, community news, sports news, or art news, check out Wiley Growl Magazine. Wiley Growl is the official magazine of the Wiley Independent School District, a full-color magazine highlighting all of the great accomplishments of Wiley students, and it keeps you up to date on what's happening in the district and in the community and features Wiley residents of all ages. For information on how to pick up your copy of Wiley Growl Magazine, go to WileyGrowl.com. It's great to be a Wiley Bulldog. Betty Rose's Little Brisket has gotten bigger. Two new locations for full-service dining, daily lunch specials, and a happy hour that begins daily at 4 p.m. with additional appetizers, plus live music twice a week on the Triple B porch at each location. The newest location, 3934 Cat Cloud Drive, even has a full bar. And the best food made from scratch is at Betty Rose's. Betty Rose's, 2588 East Lake Road, and now 3934 Cat Cloud Drive. You're listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. Now, back to the court with Matt McGraw on 1280 AM KSLI. And it's time for the second set here tonight. And game number two brought to you by a new sponsor of ours. It's Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. They're located on Industrial, 2434 Industrial for Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. Here's Wiley receiving serve, and they will score on that one. Uh, just take them three hits. What? Oh, excuse me. No, that was – I get got slightly confused by both teams wearing the white jerseys. And coming out of the timeout, I forgot we were into the new game. That was not Wiley receiving serve. That was Wiley serving it, and Midland High just scored. It was Bronco. Now Wiley going to try kill a test. It was Landman, but it is dug out. It's one nothing Midland High. We're just underway in the second set. Now, Karis Christian will go right down the left sideline of the volleyball court, attacking the line, and she scores. And so Riley is up one, or is tied, rather, just underway in the second set. We're tied at one. Wiley and Midland High wearing white long sleeve jersey with purple letters and numbers. That was a good dig, though, by Wiley. That was a nice dig by, it was Miller. Then a good spike by Burden. The ball still lost. Wiley got, a, got it back from Midland High. There's a good tip again from Miller. But Midland High somehow scrambled to it. Wiley again attacked. And that was Christian. But now it's back on Wiley's side. Now, those can only volley. But Midland High tries to block it. Now back on Wiley's side. Still live. Volleyball still live. One hand tip from Christian, but it's back now. After a block from Midland High, here's Christian a strike. Down! And Wiley gets a point after a long rally there. That is a VIP sports getaway. Big play ending with a Karis Christian kill. Our big play sponsor is back for another year. That, of course, our friends at VIP Sports Getaway. Check them out online at VIPSportsGetaway.com. Wiley up 2-1. to one. They just dug out another Bronco kill attempt. And Wiley will put it back. This is Midland High with Kennedy, but there's a good dig. That was Landman. Ginger Landman keeps it alive. Back on Midland High's side. A block. They blocked the Midland High kill attempt. It's back on Wiley's side, but didn't block it for a point. Now it's five. 
and they score. And the Wiley crowd is trying to fill Wiley in game two to shake off the dominant game one throttling that Midland High put on Wiley. Midland High took the opening set 25-13, but Wiley leads early 3-1. But Midland High just received serve, got a kill from, that's number 21, Kennedy. And it's well, Wiley 3 and Midland High 2. In the early moments of a frantic match now, there's a lot of energy in the building. A few more fans have trickled in here to Bulldog Gym on the campus of Wiley High School. Wiley sets up. Don't it. Found it. A kill. <laughs> Kill for number five, Lily Kate Toby. Then the student section was chanting, She's a freshman. Wiley up four to two in the early moments of game two. Taking the serve, Landman left to right. Wiley going left to right in the second set. It's over the net. Midland High. They first spike got blocked back onto their side. Now Bronco. And she'll pound it down. One of their best hitters, Midland High's. A senior now, number 12, Haley Bronco. There's a whistle blowing here, but I think the point's going to stand. I remember this name for a while now. We've mentioned, again, if you're just joining us, Wiley and Midland High, they've played in non-district volleyball now for several seasons in a row and just kind of it's in Abilene one year, then it's in Midland the next. And Bronco has played a lot. But she's now a senior. Wiley still up 4-3, receiving serve. Two-hand tip, Karis Christian. But this one I did. And Bronco. But there's a big dig by Wiley's libero Sanders. But now, a whistle blowing after the defense from Pearson Sanders. And they're going to get Wiley on a double-touch violation. Going to get the setter that time. Riley Hayes with a double-touch. Now Midland High serves and serves up an ace right there. An ace and another point for Midland High. They lead now in the second set, 5-4. Here's Wiley receiving serve. Hayes gets a set for Doby. It's blocked back on the Wiley side. They hang with it, and Hayes going to volley it over on the third touch. Now Midland High. And they'll score off a kill. Spike and kill number two, Macy Kidwell. And Wiley finds itself down by two here to a tough opponent. Midland High six, Wiley four in game two. Here's a set from Hayes, a spike. Brecky, but it's into the net point. Midland High, they're up seven four. Again, our game two brought to us by Abilene Battery and Golf Cars. They got batteries for your car or truck, but batteries also for your tractor or riding lawnmower, back, motorcycle batteries, ATV, golf car, or electric wheelchair. Wiley tries to spike it, dug out, and then a spike until that was Kidwell again, Macy Kidwell, Midland High on one of their runs right now. It's a 3-0 run. Excuse me, 5-0. 5-0 on the run here, five consecutive. Wiley down by four. Here's a Toby kill attempt. But there is Midland High digging it. Now they'll try a big spike from Kennedy. Wiley scrambles. Here's their third cut to keep it alive. And they do. And they score. Just a scramble mode that time. Trying to recover with a couple touches on a tough spike. Eventually the third was just a volley from Hayes. But eventually it leads to Wiley Point just keeping it alive. Midland High had an error and a miss hit. Wiley down 8-5. That was a good point, though. Now Midland High, they struggle with the Wiley serve. Can only volley it. Here's Brecky. And still score. A spike and kill. Number 19, Ambria Brecky for Wiley. And Wiley capitalizes. Takes advantage of a free ball when they got just the volley. Here's a spike from Bronco, but there's Sanders to dig it for Wiley. That comes for a tip from Wimperly, but it falls out. It's out. Point Midland High. Wiley trying to get back in it. In our game two, our Abilene Battery and Golf Cars game number two. Midland High nine, Wiley six. 
Here's Sanders, first touch for Wiley. Now set for Hayes, a spike Dobie. But Midland High's Lapero there. Lapero's name is Anders, digs it. Back on Wiley's side on the left. Wiley scrambling, third touch, just a volley, but keeps it alive. Midland High now has it. They'll fight, but Wiley blocks. Here's their third touch. It's over the net, and it scores off a two-hand tip. Point Midland High. Who got it? It was number 15. One of their setters just taking the hip shot. Olivia Harper. Harper gets the point for Midland High. Wiley down four, trying to stay in it. Down four in the second set. Whipperly takes the spike for Wiley, but Midland High takes it, and well, then Wiley got partial block on Wiley's side. Here on the left, this is Whipperly taking another spike, but there's defense on the back row from Midland High. Wiley again, though, settles one down. Here's Payne to set it. Whipperly takes the spike, and now it's back on Wiley's side again. They're going to try Morris. But here's Midland High. The volleyball still being hit around. Now it's back on Wiley's side. Hey, gets it to Doby with a one-hand tip. And she'll score. A point, Wiley. Number five, Lily Kate Doby. Pulls Wiley to within three points here. We got a timeout on the floor. Midland High calls a timeout. So we'll take a quick break. As we're in the middle of the second set, Midland High 10, Wiley 7. Midland High did win the first set. We'll be back with more Wiley Volleyball right after this on 1280 AM. Since 1890, the folks you know and trust at Haskell National Bank have proudly provided the latest in banking convenience. At Haskell National, we make it a point to get to know you and provide you with the personalized service you deserve. Stop by and visit Haskell National Bank, Buffalo Gap Road at South 32nd and Abilene or 601 North 1st in Haskell. Celebrating 125 years of continuous service. Thank you. Member FDIC. Now, back with Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. It's 10-7 the score. That's kind of a football score, but we're not playing football, although this is the opening weekend for high school football in the state of Texas. Wiley down three, receiving search, rather they were serving, Wiley was serving, and sometimes get confused by the white jerseys on both sides, and Midland High capitalizes on, and the serve received looked like it was Kennedy, yeah, Kennedy at the end getting the point off a kill, so Wiley was down three, now they're down four in game two. Midland High was very dominant in game one, Wiley looking a little bit better here in the second set. This is Madison Burden with a spike. Midland High scrambles to it. They're going to give it back to Wiley. They could only volley. Wiley now tries a two-hand tip. Midland High is there. There's a big spike, Midland High, but what a dig. That was Morgan Morris keeping it alive. It's back on the side of Midland High. Another kill attempt, but there is Hayes digging it out for Wiley. Wiley puts it back to Midland High. And then another spike, and this time it will score for Midland High. Their attack. Just keeps coming. That was number 14 for Midland High, Sydney Crawford. Wiley finds itself down by five. 12-7 the score. This is Hayes to set it up, and Sanders going to take a spike. Then Sanders getting a point from the back row for Wiley. She has added that to her game this season, this junior season for Wiley's libero. Pearson Sanders seen her more and more take a spike from the back row. If, if Wiley needs it during a given rally on a third touch, that time it falls for a point Wiley. This is a serve from Lexi Miller. Good serve. Midland High, they can only volley it to Wiley on the third touch. A free ball. Here's Wimberly. That's a big spike, but it is dug out. Midland High tries to attack, and their spike is in to the net. Into the net, point Wiley. Wiley back to within three in game two. 12-9. And Wiley going to serve again. Left to right service by Miller in play. Midland High setting up for that Kidwell. Wiley's libero. Pearson Sanders digs it. And then a one-hand spike from Burden. Dug out, though. 
Here's Midland High on a kill attempt. That's out, though. It's out by Crawford. Out for a point, Wiley. Wiley back to within two in the second set. Wiley is trailing the match one game to none. This is number 21 getting a set, and she'll take a spike. That's Kennedy. Are they saying that is in? No, they're saying it's out. It's out for a point, Wiley. Another one where Wiley is going to let a volleyball go out. Here's a spike. That was Kidwell. There's Miller getting to it for Wiley. And then Miller actually takes the third touch. So Midland High does dig it out. Now Wiley having to scramble third touch. Is it alive? It is. Forrest put it over. Now Midland High. They try Spike and Sanders gets it out of there. And then Morris. Third touch is out, though. Out for Wiley and a point for Midland High. Wiley had clawed, clawed its way back to within one. It was 12-11, but now it's 13-11 Midland High. Wiley received serve. They're setting up here. Sanders going to take a spike on the third touch. It's dug out. Now big spike from Hale, and it's going to fall. She's a sophomore for Midland High, number 24, Olivia Hale. It's a three-point game here in the Abilene Battery and Golf Cars game number two. Riley down three, Landman, five. And a kill. And Wiley down just two there as Wiley executes on the serve receipt going one, two, three, and also getting a, some money in our company scholarship fund. Every sleep they get a spike and a kill to fall. It was t- number 21, Madeline Kennedy. Midland High 15, Wiley 12. You're in game two. Harris Christian on the serve receive gives it over to Miller. Back to Christian for a spike. There's defense by Midland High now. They'll spike it, and no one will get a dig there. That was Haley Bronco. Point Midland High. Wiley down four. Really kind of needing the side out here, needing the point to not let the second set get away from them. Here's Lexi Miller to set up Harris Christian. She'll take a two-hand tip, but Bronco digs it out. Now big spike from Olivia Hale. Wiley tries to get to it. They got a couple touches on it, but eventually could not keep it alive. Couldn't get a third touch to go over the net. Point Midland High, and they are now up by five. Here's Lily New, first touch. Miller a set. Christian a spike. It was blocked back on the Wiley side. They hang with it. Now Landman puts it over the net. Midland High, though, is there. Goes to Bronco, but Pearson Sanders. Wiley's libero digs it out. Now it's burdened. She was blocked. Back on the way. Cleaning up. Looks like some water on the court. Midland High will serve. Wiley again needing a point because they're down big. Or it's getting bigger now after a Midland High eight. Point Midland High, the eighth comes from number 21, Madeline Kennedy. Midland High is up by another football score. It's 21-14. Here's Wiley setting up for Karis Christian. She'll spike it. But Bronco does have a dig on it. Then Bronco takes the third touch. A spike. Wiley, though, gets to it. Now, that was Christian getting it down the line, and it will score. That is a spike and kill for Karis Christian. Point. Wiley, Wiley down by six, 21-15. Wiley serves it up, left to right it goes from Landman. Here's Middle High, they will put it over. Wiley, though, will find a way to keep it alive with a one-hand tip from Miller. Middle and High, though, goes back to Olivia Hale, and a spike falls. At a point, Midland High, they're up 22 to 15 in game two. And Midland High did win game number one. Again, our company bringing you this action, Bulldogs Live Online. Follow us on Twitter. We're tweeting live about this game. Follow us at B Dogs Live Online. Again, our Twitter handle at B Dogs live online. There's a spike from Wiley Doby. Dug out, though. 
But Midland High can only volley it back. Wiley resets a spike for Doby. And, or a set and a spike from Doby. And he's dug out. Now, Kenneth, well, that's Kidwell, not Kennedy, but it is a point for Midland High. Midland High is now up 23 to 15. Wiley going to call another timeout. Let's keep it right here, though, in this second set. Whenever this match does end, though, we encourage you to stick around for a Wiley Volleyball post-game show where we'll hand out the Player of the Game Award. It's the Abilene Window and Door Player of the Game. So if you want to know who will win the award and we hit hand out the award, win or lose, well, stick around. It'll come your way immediately following the conclusion of tonight's match. We are... Still just in the second set, and it's the first to three sets. But Midland High did win game number one. They're currently up 1-0 in the match. And now they're just two points, two points away from putting Wiley into a must-win mode. If Midland High takes game two, they'll be up two games to none here. 23 to 15, the score. Out of the timeout, Midland High will serve. Right to left it goes. Brecky touches it for Wiley. First touch now, Hayes. A set. There's a spike. Karis Christian. Midland High. They have been pretty good defensively. They dig that out and then eventually get a point. And they're on a game point now. It's 24 to 15. This is a game point or a set point for Midland High. A Dr. Pepper game point. First touch, Lily New of Wiley. Hayes gets it over for Doby, and Doby will get a short little tip shot. It was a nice redirection of the volleyball. She just slicked her wrist and got the volleyball to fl- uh, fall to the floor of Point Wiley. But Midland High is still on a game point. Wiley will serve. Morgan Morris in play, and there's a spike Midland High down the line. It's in. A spiking kill from number two, Macy Kidwell. And Kidwell gets the finishing point there of the second set. So Midland High does win it. The final score of game two, they win game two, 25 to 16. Midland High has not won the match, though, when I say they have won it. They just won the second set. Again, 25-16 is the final there, but they did win game number one. And so they're now up two games to none here in this match and the teams will switch sides again and we'll get ready for game number three but we'll take a break and come back for that one you're listening to wiley volleyball we are powered by taylor electric co-op and we're on 1280 ksli the wiley all sports booster club is a proud supporter of bulldogs live online and their broadcasts of wiley sports and exists to support all wiley sports Reason number one why you should become a member of the Wiley Booster Club. Did you know the Booster Club gives additional financial support to all sports, helping out where funding stops? This kind of support is impossible without the support of Wiley fans like you. Be a part of this by joining the Wiley All Sports Booster Club today. For more info, check our website, AbilenewileyBulldogs.com. Hi, I'm Darren Black, owner of Black Plumbing. For 24 years, Black Plumbing has been serving our neighbors, and we are proud to be a part of your community. In Abilene, call us at 325-675-8391. If you've ever wondered what services we provide, go to blackplumbing.com. The pros who know are ready to go. Call on Black Plumbing. Black Plumbing, Black Plumbing, Black Plumbing. Black Plumbing. Black Plumbing. Black Plumbing. Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Jelling is a proud sponsor of Wiley Athletics. Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Jelling will save you time and money with the latest technology, including concrete cutting, live wire and rebar detection, structural analysis in real time, precision wall cutting, and core jelling. From standard concrete to highly abrasive concrete. Maverick Saw Cutting and Core Jelling, 325-788-7777. Or go to MaverickSawCutting.com. Go Bulldogs! 
Wiley School District has remained an athletic and academic powerhouse by dedicating itself to hard work, determination, and creativity. In much the same way, Abilene Teachers Federal Credit Union has remained a reliable source of great service and products since we were founded in 1950. Our five-star rated mobile apps let you conduct banking at your convenience whenever and wherever you choose. So if you live or work in Taylor County, you're one of us. Join ATFCU and experience the team spirit that's kept us going for 65 years. But more importantly, for this game, go dogs! Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And welcome back, everyone, to Wiley High School. And it's time for game three. And Wiley really up against it now. But in volleyball, it's a crazy sport. You do not ever think you are out, certainly, as, as you, especially starting a set when it's 0-0. Zero, zero. There's a lot of momentum here in this sport, but Midland High has won the first two games tonight, so they could win this match. They could sweep Wiley here with one more win. Wiley will try to prevent that from happening. They're back on my right side, the right side of the net, so Wiley's attack will go right to left here in game three. Our our third set is brought to us tonight by Lawrence Hall, our friends at Lawrence Hall, sponsoring game three. Here's Wiley first touch on the serve receive with Sanders. And that was a set from Miller, a spike from Christian, but that one goes out, and Midland High gets the first point. But Lawrence Hall offers the best vehicles from Chevy, GM, Volkswagen, Lincoln, and Mazda, and the best customer service at Lawrence Hall. Wiley down 1-0 in the third set, setting up their attack for Landman. Good spike there, and that one's down for a kill. To tie game three up early, and every kill gets a donation to the Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund, the kill donation from Borland Family Dentistry. Now Burden will take a serve. Madison Burden puts it in play. Midland High, though. They're going to set up. That was Bronco. Number 12, Haley Bronco. They have two really good hitters, does Midland High. Bronco is one of them. Also, number 24 has been good tonight. Olivia Hale. Bronco and Hale. We are streaming this game, streaming this game everywhere. But you can go to the website, BulldogLiveOnline.com. This is Wiley Stovey on a spike, but that one, she went with a diagonal spike left to right, but it goes out off to the side. It's out point Midland High. And here's the uh, serve by Midland High. Karis Christian first touch. Now Miller back to Karis Christian, and she'll get the point right there. And Wiley trails 3-2. to two. It's early here. Wiley, the first two sets, they've been able to hang with Midland High about halfway through, and then Midland High seems to go on a run about the 12-13 uh, point mark. Tap at both sides. There's... Number 12, Haley Bronco, the senior outside hitter. Another kill for Midland High. They're up four to two. They're up by two points, four to two. You're in the Lawrence Hall third set. First touch is Lily New, and then a set from, that was Hayes, and a spike from Christian. And they, they go down. Just missing on a kill attempt there. Point Midland High. It's 5-2. Wiley down. Here's another serve that Wiley received. They're going to Doby. Doby tries a one-hand tip shot. But it is dug out. Wiley has it again. They're on the right. Here's the third touch. It's Miller with a one-hand tip. And that is dug out as well. And Midland High eventually finds its way to. That was Kidwell, Macy Kidwell. And she'll get a point. So Midland High is not having too many issues here. They've won the first two sets, and now they're off to a fast start in the third set. It's 6-2. Wiley going to Miller. That's a nice one-hand tip. Midland High had to dive to keep it alive. Wiley has it again. And a whistle, though, blowing. And Wiley getting called for a violation. Wiley setter, Riley Hayes. Got called for the double touch violation. Point Midland High. And they'll serve. 
First touch was Miller, then Hayes on a set. There's Sanders on a third touch. Edwin High is going to scramble to it, though, and they'll get another point. And Wiley going to have to call a quick timeout. We will take uh, take the timeout with them. It is Midland High off to a fast start, 8-2. They're up 8-2 here in the third set as they threaten to sweep Wiley, but we'll take a break. You're listening to Wiley Volleyball, presented by Dr. Pepper on 1280 KSLI. Hey there. Hey there. My son's going to help me. My help me. Yep, it's the copy game. Copy game. I could say anything right now, and he'd repeat it. He'd repeat like, it. I just love Brussels like, sprouts. I just love... Hey. <laughs> I'm careful what I say around him. I also try to make sure I pass on good energy-saving habits. You should, too. Save energy and money at TogetherWeSave.com. TogetherWeSave.com. You know, my dad is the coolest. My dad thinks he's funny. A message from your hometown co-op. It's Taylor Electric Cooperative in Merkel. Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And we're back. Ready for more of the third set. Thank you again, Lawrence Hall. Lawrence Hall, the Chevy and GM dealer here in Abilene for sponsoring this game number three. And Wiley has to hit the serve back in one. That's not what they wanted to do. Lexi Miller... Took the touch, tried to, just trying to get it to her setter, but the touch carried the volleyball over the net. And there immediately was one of the Midland High tall girls. They got a lot of tall ones. They spiked it down, right down in one. And now a serve by Midland High's Kennedy, and she just served up an ace. So out of the timeout, it did not go Wiley's way out of the timeout. As I said, they hit it back in one, and Midland High scores, and then a Midland High ace. So it was 8-2, to two, but now it's 10-2. to two, Wiley down in the third set. And they're going to block. And by Midland High, makes a block for a point. The blocker was number one, Caitlin Kennedy. There are two Kennedys on this team. And that's an eight. Wow. By Midland High. Not sure about that one. No Wiley player made a move towards it. That's not going to please head coach Shea Cox. In fact, she's up and just encouraging the girls. But I think there was just miscommunication there because that serve, no one even stepped up to take the serve. Now it's 12 to 2. Midland High is up. And Wiley does control serve here. Gets it to Brecky on a one-hand tip. But Midland High digs it. But it's back on Wiley's side. And here comes the third touch. It's Dobie. She just follows it over. Midland High now on the left. One-hand tip from Kennedy. Wiley, those there. Got Karis Christian, big spike. But Midland High has the D. Now Bronco. And it's into a Wiley block. But it's down for a point, Midland High. The run right now, they are on a 9 nothing run. And it's 13-2. to two. Midland High is up 13-2 here. And Wiley, though, gets one ball right there to make it 13-3. That was Karis Christian getting a kill to just put it in there to a tough run and get Wiley a point. Midland High 13 and Wiley 3 in the third set. And Midland High has won the first two sets tonight so they can sweep here and win the match. Morris, a right-to-left serve for Wiley. Good play. Midland High attacked with Kennedy. And it's into the Wiley block, but again, down. That's another point, Midland High. Again, we encourage you to follow us on Twitter. Our company, Us Being Bulldogs Live Online. We tweet live during all games. The company Twitter handle, follow us at B-Dogs Live Online. Again, on Twitter, at B-Dogs Live Online. Wiley try to fight. Midland High dug it out. It's back on Wiley's side. Wimberly gives a spike. That's blocked. Wiley at 10, though, keeps it alive, puts it over. Midland High, though, is attacking. And the spike falls. That time from a new player they just brought into the game. (laughs) 
Ladies and gentlemen, meet John. John is a middle-class guy. Hello. John likes his sports talk. John likes his news talk. John likes rock and roll. That's right. John reads the sports section and the business section. John likes the game of billiards. John likes eight ball and nine ball and those fancy trick shots. John has plenty of room at his house for a pool table and maybe a game table. And maybe some game room chairs. And maybe a, dare I say it, yes, maybe even a bar. And right over there, John could put shuffleboard or air hockey or foosball. John will decide when he goes to Abilene Billiard Connection. Then John's wife will come in and decide what color and style. As long as John gets his billiard table, he doesn't give a rat's patootie. Really, a man's home is his castle. And in John's castle, there will be a game room. Abilene Billiard Connection is at 2950 North 1st. So John and Mrs. John can completely outfit their castle's game room at really good prices from a local concern. Now that John is getting his game room, here's what John has to say. That's Abilene Billiard Connection at 2950 North 1st. What does the one-of-a-kind taste of Dr. Pepper sound like? Let's have a listen. Yeah, yeah. Some Apparently, the one-of-a-kind taste of Dr. Pepper sounds a lot like this Southern Gospel choir lady passionately singing her heart out. Grab yourself an ice-cold Dr. Pepper today. It tastes even better than it sounds. Dr. Pepper, always one of a kind. Reactions may vary. Some might hear church bells, standing ovations, babies laughing, inspirational songs from sports movies or sunshine. It's really hard to say. Enjoy. You are listening to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball, powered by Taylor Electric Co-op. Now, back to the court with Matt McGraw on 1280 AM KSLI. And welcome back to Wiley Bulldog Gym. And apologize about that. A little bit of technical issues, but... Back here on the air, you're listening to Wiley Volleyball. A good match going on between Wiley and Midland High, but Midland High, they are super experienced this year. But by that meaning, they got a lot of seniors on this team, and a lot of the key contributors are seniors. There's eight. Eight of the Midland High players are seniors. And they have played very well today, and they've actually played well on the season. They're kind of come in 17 and 9. Does Midland High, and they're, of course, a Class 6A program, belonging to the largest classification in the state of Texas. Wiley wanted to play them to uh, prepare them for a tough district that Wiley will eventually get into as they'll begin play for the very first time in a 5A district. They're already playing, of course, as a 5A school, but we're back here in the third set, and it's 18-5. to Yeah, not very good for Wiley. In the third set, game three, Midland High up big, 18 to 5, and we're going to 25. Wiley serves it up, and Midland High has it. They're going with a spike. Wiley gets a block on it. Good block from Madison Burden. Now it's back on Midland High's side. They're going to attack again, and they will, though, keep attacking the Wiley block, and they'll soar. So Wiley is down now by 14 points. It is Midland High 19 and Wiley 5. Here in the third set, it looks to be that this game is going to be probably over quickly. Here's Wiley trying to kill a champ, brother, and it will fall. This one does fall from number two. That's a sophomore for Wiley, Avery Wimberly. So Wiley pulls it within 19 6. None of the sets, though, have actually been all that close tonight. So you just Credit a really tough 6A Midland High opponent. And High receives the serve, attacks with a big spike there. Sanders, she's had a good night though, Wiley's libero, because Wiley's been under fire defensively. Sanders dug it out. Midland High will attack again. This time the kill attempt is out though. That was out for a point, Wiley. That came from Grimes. There's a couple of new players. Midland High has inserted a couple of new names, but Emma Grimes. Grimes kill, though, was out. Wiley got the point. They serve it up again. And this is Kennedy. She's still out there, one of their players. But Wiley digs out that spike from Kennedy. Back on the side of Midland High. We're in game number three. And Midland High just scored that. Midland High, can, they win this third set. They will win this match. They will win it in straight sets. It's now 20 to 7. Game number one was 25-13. Game number two was 25-16. So far, the nine-point loss is the closest 
that uh, Wiley has hung, up, hung on, but hasn't really been uh, too close. Wiley's not really threatened Midland High tonight, but it's just been, again, a, a really tough opponent, a very talented team. They've got a lot of tall girls on this team. Does Midland High. Wiley serves it after Wiley did get a point. To make it 20 to 8. Midland High could only volley that. Wiley does have a free ball as Ladman tries a one hand tip, but Midland High does get to it and goes down the line with a spike and gets it to score. Spike came from Kennedy and Wiley down 13, so down that's pretty big in volleyball. It's 21 to 8. Wiley going to call a timeout, but we'll keep it right here. This is the last timeout of the set three that Wiley is allowed. You're allowed two timeouts per game. It's 21 to 8 here, but again, when this game does come to an end, stick around. We'll have a Wiley volleyball post-game show. We'll always hand out a player of the game award. We'll have that award for you, win or lose. So if you want to know who is today's player of the game, just stick around. We'll take a short break and come back with that post-game show following the conclusion of tonight's match. We want to give our thanks to the Ski Connection in Abilene. The Ski Connection, a big partner of ours at Bulldogs Live Online. In fact, they're the official outerwear provider of the Bulldogs Live Online broadcast team as the weather cools down, and we hope it will eventually cool down. But I believe it's 100 again today. But as the weather does cool down, the Wiley radio teams will enjoy North Face jackets. Jackets by the North Face, compliments of the Ski Connection. Visit them at 2950 North 1st Street. Here's out of the timeout. Wiley receives the serve. They set it up for Karis Christian. But her spike was blocked and blocked for a point Midland High. Olivia Hale got to that. 22 to 8. Here's Wiley setting up for Karis Christian again. The spike is into the net. Point Midland High. There's not much longer left in this one. It's 23 to 8. Midland High will serve. First touch is, is Lily New rather than a set from Miller and a spike from Doby, and that one is in. And at the point for Wiley, that was the freshman, number five, Lily Kate Doby, with a kill. That's going to put some more money in our company's scholarship fund. Every kill gets a donation from Borland Family Dentistry to the Bulldogs Live Online Scholarship Fund as we hand out every May of each school year, hand out two scholarships, one each to a graduating male and female athlete at Wiley High School. So Wiley gets the point there to hold off Midland High at least from getting to a, uh, not just a game point, but Midland High about to get to a match point. But it is 23 to 9 after Wiley got that point. And there's a slight delay here before the next serve from Wiley. In Bulldogs Live Online, our company, we are also. We are also on Facebook. I've talked to, told you to follow us on Twitter, but you can find us on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page. Just search for Bulldogs Live Online. You can give us a like there on Facebook. We'll start, start showing up in your news feed with some Wiley Athletic updates. At the Bulldogs Live Online Facebook page, we also have begun... The Hugh Sandifer Radio Show again. Yes, Wiley, head football coach and athletic director, Hugh Sandifer. He's got a weekly radio show, if you did not know about it, called the Action Sports Medicine Hugh Sandifer Show. It's every Wednesday, Wednesdays at 6 o'clock on Keen 105. We're out of the delay, and it will be a Wiley serve here. It's Landman with the service. And Midland High receives it, tries to spike, but Wiley has the D this time. They're going to set up for Christian. She got blocked at the net. Wiley hangs with it and does volley it over. Midland High will attack. Bronco and Haley Bronco does get the point. And Midland High is going now on to a match point. 
a game point for game three and a match point for the match at 24 to nine. This is a Dr. Pepper match point. Wiley receives it. It's Brecky first touch. Hayes a set. Spike. That was Christian, and it is down. That's a point, Wiley. Wiley does get into double digits, at least in the third set. It's 24 to 10 after Wiley got that point. And Midland High is still on the match point. Wiley will serve Morgan Morris. Midland High controls going to Bronco. Wiley digs this out. Here's the second touch from Morris. Third touch is going to be Wimberly putting it over. Midland High has it. They're spiking with Bronco. Nice dig, though, by Hayes. Wiley trying to keep it alive. One point wins it, though. Wiley puts it over. Now Midland High goes to Kennedy. Diving dig by Riley Hayes again. One hand tip from Pearson Sanders. Still alive. Now Hale. And puts it down for Midland High. Olivia Hale in that rally. And Midland High does win this match. They defeat the Wiley Lady Bulldogs and they defeat them in straight sets. The final score of the last set, the third set, was 25 to 10. But they sweep tonight. They win 25-13, 25-16, 25-10. It's a really good volleyball team that Midland High has. That is, of course, at least the good part about that is Wiley going to try to use it to get better. And also the good part is that that team is a 6A school so at the very least, you know you're not going to see them in a potential playoff. Wiley hopes to go to the playoffs in volleyball and, of course, would go into the 5A volleyball tournament should they qualify. But Midland High does get the win tonight in straight sets. Midland High is now 18-9 and nine on the preseason or on the non-district. Wiley with the loss will fall, but still a, a winning record for Wiley. They are 14-11. and 11 this year in non-district. 14 wins of now 11 losses for your Wiley Lady Bulldogs. We'll go ahead and take a break here, fans. Let us stick around. If you're still with us, it'll be just a very short break. We'll come back and we'll give you the player of the game. We'll also look ahead to next week. As I can tell you, the month of September, when we're about to get to it, it's really busy for Wiley Volleyball just as far as they're getting on a routine where they're going to play twice a week. They're going to have a Tuesday-Friday routine starting here in September. So At First Financial, we're celebrating our first 125 years. And we wouldn't be here without our customers. So thank you. Thank you for entrusting us with your dreams. Thanks for your commercial business. And your personal business. Thank you for being part of our family. And making us part of yours. Thanks to you, after 125 years, we're just getting started. First Financial. You first. Member FDIC. The Wiley All Sports Booster Club is a proud supporter of Bulldogs Live Online and their broadcasts of Wiley Sports and exists to support all Wiley Sports. Reason number one why you should become a member of the Wiley Booster Club. Did you know the Booster Club gives additional financial support to all sports, helping out where funding stops? This kind of support is impossible without the support of Wiley fans like you. Be a part of this by joining the Wiley All Sports Booster Club today. For more info, check our website, AbilenewileyBulldogs.com. Here's a little slice of information that will really hit every electric co-op member right in the bread basket. Since 1936, the average price of a loaf of bread has increased 18 times. But the average price of your electricity has only increased two times. Just one more way, it pays to be a co-op member. Learn more about the power of your co-op membership at TogetherWeSave.com. To learn about a co-op membership, contact Taylor Electric Cooperative at 325-793-8500. Now, back to Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball. Powered by Taylor Electric Co-op on 1280 AM KSLI. And it's time for our post-game show, our Wiley Volleyball post-game show. And tonight's player of the game when there are so many big hitters on the other side. And there were a lot for Midland High tonight as Midland High does defeat Wiley in straight sets. The player of the game is going to be Wiley's Libero, one of our main defensive players and our libero, she was under fire all uh, 
all day today trying to dig out a lot of tough spikes, and she did well. And that's why I'm making her the player of the game. That, of course, is number one, Pearson Sanders. Pearson Sanders, the libero. She is a junior, and she is your Abilene window and door player of the game. Abilene window and door is the largest window and door showroom in West Texas. Abilene Window and Door, they're located 4332 Sales. Yes, 4322, my fault, 4322. They're on sales, though, and really the best place to check them out is online at abilineglass.com. Pearson Sanders, the Abilene Window and Door player of the game. Wiley, as I said, losing this one and uh, losing it uh, just really couldn't get much going against this tough Midland High team. There was... Some good defense played by Midland High. They were excellent tonight defensively on the back row, keeping Wiley's spikes just in play, and Wiley couldn't really get any traction. As I said, losing a lot by a, a, almost every set, a set, losing by a large margin. Losing set one by 12, 25-13, losing by nine in the second set. That was the closest, 25-16 was the final in the second set, then that last one, 25-10. Well, Wiley, though, is going to uh, regroup here and get ready, as I said, for uh, some more volleyball, getting into that Tuesday-Friday routine. They'll have the Labor Day holiday, but then that Tuesday, Tuesday, in, first Tuesday in September, September the 4th, right after Labor Day, they'll get back to it, and they'll take to the road against another tough program, another tough 6A program. That is San Angelo Central. As I said, the, why, there's no uh, no. Cupcakes, no cream puffs on this non-district schedule. Every single opponent is going to be so tough to even get a victory off of. And Wiley going to play a really good San Angelo Central team on the road in San Angelo. That game scheduled for a 6 o'clock, give or take 6 o'clock first serve on that one. And we'll head on out there. If you can't make it in person to San Angelo, we'll have the action for you right here. Abilene Radio 1280 KSLI and streaming everywhere at our website, BulldogsLiveOnline.com for that game on the road next Tuesday against San Angelo. And then they'll be back home next Friday for an old, familiar face, Brownwood, actually coming into town next Friday. So at San Angelo on Tuesday of next week and home a week from today, back home for the Brownwood Lady Lions. Well, we'll go ahead and sign off tonight. Of course, it's a big night here at Wiley High School as Wiley football will kick off their season just across the parking lot at Bulldog Stadium. And Trace Michaels and Bill Whitaker, the voices for Bulldog football, will have the radio call for you on Keen 105, 105.1. And, of course, also streaming here at BulldogsLiveOnline.com around 7 o'clock. So we're still a little bit away, away from that one. But the top of the hour, I thought when it kicks off, but that's when Trace and Bill will get on the air with the Wiley Bulldog football pregame show. And that's really kind of the best. Just get it on. And uh, when you're driving to the stadium, be listening to that because there's a really cool scouting report that's always a part of the pregame show. And it's from Wiley head coach Hugh Sandifer himself, if you're familiar with that. So just... Around 7 o'clock, go to 105.1 to begin listening and get ready for Wiley Bulldog football. We'll go ahead and sign off, though, of the volleyball match over here on 1280 AM. Before we do, want to thank our producer tonight as he was guiding us along the way back at the KSLI studio. And we thank Nathan Wheaton for producing tonight's broadcast of Wiley Volleyball. For me, Ben, my name is Matt McGraw. And we're signing off from Bulldog Jim. We'll leave you with the final scores of all sets as we sign off as Wiley does fall to Midland High in straight set. The final scores were 25-13, 25-16, and 25-10. You heard it all right here. Wiley Lady Bulldog Volleyball was powered by Taylor Electric Co-op and presented by Dr. Pepper. And it was on BulldogLiveOnline.com and 1280 AM. Have a great rest of your Friday evening, everyone, and hope you make it to the Bulldog football game. Take care, everyone.
Fly 1280, Classic Country.